have pulled one back so it's Newcastle 2 Everton 1 just when we thought that it's going to be a whitewash of goals from Newcastle United but uh, Everton have pulled one back so it's Newcastle 2 Everton 1 as we go into halftime and we'll come and speak to some of the Newcastle boys on their reaction and uh, their feeling towards the performance of the first half right it's halftime together with the two army fans here in Malaysia it's Newcastle 2 Everton 1 I'm here with Shazli and also Jonathan first of all guys we're not going to talk about the scoreline but tell us what is happening with Newcastle they're playing like a team possessed Jonathan yeah I it, it's surprising for all of us this season I mean we've started fantastically and none of us really expected us to be at, in this position no one gave us a chance from the start so I we are, we are obviously very very pleased but I think the, the most important thing is that Alan Pardew has, has 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 been able to make the team gel together the new players that have come in they have they have all just fit in perfectly and 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 it's been great right okay uh, we don't have a backdrop because we don't have a budget can we get the guy with the flag back here again no? we don't have a backdrop so let's have a backdrop Shazli what do you think has been the, the, the most important thing uh, at Newcastle United this season that make them playing so well I think as, as what the commentator uh, uh, comment just now is it's about the teamwork it's about the, the team the team gelling together and and I think this started since Chris, Chris Hutton's time so Alan Padu just continue uh, the, the, he didn't uh, upset the, the apple cart and whatnot. Continued with uh, with what uh, good things that uh, Chris Hilton have been doing, and it works. So it's fair to say Alan Padu is not a miracle worker, lah. Of course, no no one is a miracle worker. <laughs> but but I think uh, Chris Hilton started a good revolution in Newcastle. All right. and and uh, sadly, he was sacked, but Alan Padu, Alan Padu managed to continue his uh, his work. Then it's good. So, Jonathan, your take on the first half? You know, Newcastle played like a team possessed. Everton were hardly in it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were, we were we were great in the first half. I mean, it was it was very disappointing to let in that goal right at the stroke of halftime, obviously. But but we are we are doing well. I mean, we are controlling the game. The the wingers are doing their job. They're coming back to defend. So it's going to be an exciting second half. And I 
think I'm going to ask this to the both of you because Ryan Taylor's goal is going to be one goal that you'll be talking for a long, long time. Tell me about your reaction looking at that goal. Uh, I'm, I'm shocked actually. Uh, I, I, I'm not expecting the goal to, uh, to go in, but, but I think a, a contender for the goal of the season. Okay. A serious contender. But of course, being said that um, Kabai, there was an injury in the first half for him, very influential player in midfield and of course helping the front two, especially Dembaba. Is he going to be a big loss? He's going to be a big loss. I hope, hopefully, he's not going to be out for too long. But we do have good backup choices. Uh, Gosling, we haven't really seen the best of him. He has had his injuries, and so he has come in now. And hopefully, we'll see what he what he can provide for the team. But looking at the first half performance, we're going to get both of your take on this. Is there going to be a sack full of goals, and then we'll see you, uh, Newcastle going second for a little while? Yes, of course. Uh, seriously, uh, Everton to me is is a uh, banana skin. All right, uh, you ne would never know because we lost last last season. We lost 2-1 to them. Uh, but seeing the first half how we go on forward, some some will probably think uh, it will be a drab drab uh, uh, game. But as as can be seen, there's three goals already. So I'm expecting at least two from Newcastle. Jonathan, at least another two more goals, hopefully. And if we do win. Manchester City, bring it on. Wow. They are throwing down the gauntlet even before the second half starts. So we're going to continue with the Newcastle fans right here at Piccadilly. And a big thank you to our guys holding up the backdrop. <laughs>